Today I'm going to be making soy milk. I was taught by a couple of old Chinese ladies how to make soy milk in the traditional Chinese way, which is served hot and is much more thicker and condensed than we Americans would usually like. But I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to show you how we can make more of an Americanized version by adding agave nectar and some vanilla extract. We're going to start with dried soybeans. This is one quarter cup, two ounces. You will use a cup of hot water. So I'll add two cups of hot water. We're going to process this on the soup cycle two times because you want to make sure that your soybeans are thoroughly cooked. And honestly, it does taste a little better if you do a third time. But two times to make it safe, three times to make it yummy. Now that it's finished cooking, it's going to be very, very, very hot, so please be careful. In the traditional Chinese way, this would be served hot and very thick and condensed, very natural and hearty and healthy. We're going to make more of an Americanized version now. We're going to add a couple teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're adding a tablespoon of agave nectar or molasses or sugar, stevia, honey, whatever sweetener you prefer to use. Some people like it with hardly any sweetening. If you like things sweeter than that, feel free to step up the sugar content. Since this is a very condensed version of soy milk, we're now going to thin it by adding ice and pressing the smoothie button, and that's going to give it a quick chill. Soy milk made from dried soybeans, both in the traditional Chinese manner and a more Americanized version. Enjoy!